Hi, it's Kiki Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Kristen, and I would love for you to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and also hit the notification button so you won't miss out on any of my new videos. I've been having some haters on my page. I don't know why. Like, why would you hate on someone who just loves doing what they love to do? You know what I mean? So, I don't know if. If you don't like me, then just like click out of this video. If you don't like me or don't like watching my videos, don't like how I do things, then um, just don't watch me. I, I don't really see a point in disliking a video. Like if you don't like something, then just click out of it. You know what I mean? Um, if you have any suggestions on how you think I should do my videos, then please leave a comment below. And also let me know what you think about this look. If you want me to do more looks like this. If you don't want me to do looks like this. And I don't know. Just like any other looks you want me to do. Um, product reviews you want me to do. Challenges. Just any video suggestions. I would love to hear your thoughts about it. Today I'm back with another cut crease tutorial. Okay. Don't judge. I am still learning. And I've just been actually loving the look of these different types of cut creases. Especially with these individual lashes on the bottom. And I just wanted to like, you know. I just wanted to try out these different cut crease looks with different colors because, I don't know, they're just like so fun and I just, I just feel like I don't have enough like eye makeup tutorials on my channel and I wanted to try these cut creases with a little bit of like, they have a little differences in them but they're pretty much like the same. They're just like with different colors. I love the like smoky bold vampy like look you know makes my eyes look bigger which is what i love because my eyes are very tiny you know got that those asian eyes so that's what i've been doing these past couple days these past couple tutorials so i'm sorry if it's like seems like it's being repetitive or whatever but if you want to see how to get this look then just keep watching <laughs> moisturize my face so now I'm gonna go in with my MAC prep and prime I'm going in with the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour wear hydrating foundation and I'm not sure if there's actually some in here but we're just gonna try and see what happens because I haven't used this in a while sure what color this is it just says 3.2 on the bottom I think this was actually my first foundation ever so I've had this for like two years so I hope this isn't like bad or spoiled foundation gets bad right I'm actually surprised that there's still some in here because I thought this was empty I'm actually really loving this foundation definitely medium to full coverage and I like the consistency of this foundation very lightweight I'm gonna have to go back and buy this foundation because I'm really loving this <laughs> I just got some on my shirt. I cannot do makeup ever without getting it on my clothes. Before setting in my foundation, I'm gonna go in with my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the number NC30. I'm going to apply that with a flat brush by Morphe Brushes. It already has concealer on it, so don't judge me. Turn up my brightness. There we go. It's too bright, I can't see. I'm gonna blend that in with my beauty blender. I usually don't do full face tutorial just because I feel like I do the same thing every single time, but I just figured since this is going to be like a holiday glam look, I would do this for you guys. And let me know in the comments below if you even like watching me do like my everyday face routine or if it's just getting like repetitive and I should just stick to doing like um just to my eyes and my lips or whatever, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. To bake, I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Fits Me Loose Finishing Powder in the number 20 light medium. I'm using my Too Faced Deep Tan Matte Bronzer. I'm just taking my broken bronzing brush. It's like angled. To 
contour my nose, my cupid's bow, and under my lips, I'm going to be using this brush right here. All the brushes that I own are mainly from Morphe brushes. The other ones that I have are from the Wish app, but for the most part, it's going to be from Morphe brushes. some blush I'm gonna be using this one from LA colors and this is in the shade radical to apply that I'm gonna be using this big fluffy brush I want to go for like a cranberry reddish dark maybe like cut crease eye so I'm gonna go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. This is the Ultimate Glow Palette, and I'm gonna be going into Snow for highlight. Just because I'm wearing like silver jewelry, so I want it to like kind of go hand in hand, you know? First, I'm gonna spray some setting spray, and this is by NYX, and it's in the dewy finish. Taking my little fan brush, this is the M310. I love the glow that Anastasia highlighters give me, but I hate this like powdery look it gives me, so I'm gonna spray some more setting spray. Yes, now I am glowing for the gods! For some eyebrows, I'm using my e.l.f. Lock on liner and brow cream in the shade medium brown. Just using a regular eyebrow brush, angled brush. If I can find it, I have shit everywhere. Where'd it go? Bish, where you at? Just your typical eyebrow brush. Brush out my brows. If you want to see how I do my brows, I'll leave the um, tutorial in the description box. my brows I'm going to be using this little flat brush and I'm going back into my MAC Studio Good Finish Concealer. So my camera died but I just made my eyebrows a little bit longer and I did one eye off camera just to save time. So now I'm going to zoom you guys in so we can get started. I tried to use as less brushes as I could. So I mainly just use these five brushes, and these are all from Morphe brushes, except for this one I got from the Wish app. I'm gonna be starting off with this brush right here, and I'm going into my 35B Morphe brushes palette into this maroon shade right here. I'm gonna blend that into my crease and a little bit up to my brow bone. I'm gonna grab this hot pink right here and put that into my crease as well. It upwards to your brow bone. Now grabbing that little tapered brush, I'm going to be dipping into black. And with my eyes open, since I do have hooded lids, and I say this in every video that I do a cut crease. Um, actually, like in pretty much every video I do because I do have a hooded lid, I like the look of like a bigger lid. So I always put the darker shade a little bit above my double lid. And this just makes your eye appear or your lid appear bigger. I'm dipping back into that maroon and hot pink and I'm just going to blend this top part of the black out. I'm going to take this tapered brush since it is a little bit smaller to help me blend this out. Now to cut the crease, I'm going back into my MAC Studio Finish Concealer and with that same little flat brush we use to um, conceal our eyebrows, we're going to cut this crease. For this eye, I forgot to set the concealer, so I'm not going to do the same for this eye just because I want everything to look the exactly the same. Um, so what I did is I just applied this individual eyeshadow by NYX, and I'm going to apply that all over my lid with my finger. Going back into my 35B palette, I'm picking up this bright red with my little tapered brush, and I'm going to focus that on the outer V as well as the inner V, inner corner V, whatever. 
picking up that maroon color and applying that directly over the red. Then I'm picking up some black and putting that in the corners. I'm also going to blend a little bit out on the crease. Taking my other little tapered brush, I'm going to blend this out a little bit. For the fun part, I'm using some Lemonhead glitter and this is adult film. It's like this holographic glitter. It's so beautiful. I'm taking that up on this little flat brush and I'm just applying that to the middle on top of that baby pink. With my smaller taper brush, I'm going to be picking up that bright pink again and dusting that under my eye. Then picking up that maroon shade with this little detail brush, I'm going directly on my lash line. Now I'm picking up some black and I'm going to put that in my waterline. To highlight my inner corner and my brow bone, I'm dipping into my Moon Child palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and going into Pink Heart. For some mascara, I'm using my Ultimate All-in-One by Revlon. I wasn't going to use these um, because I was going to save it for my haul video, but I didn't like any of the other lashes that I had. So I'm using these by Morphe, and these are called Heartbreaker. For the bottom lashes, like my last two makeup tutorials, I'm using the same Ardell individual lashes, and these are the double ups. I'm going to take some black again on my detail brush and kind of go in between the lashes that I just applied. Alright, for some lips, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. I want to try like an ombre kind of lip thingy, you know, with like a darker pencil and then like a lighter um, lipstick. But I'm not really sure how that's going to turn out because I'm not the best at that. But I'm going to be using my NYX lip liner. This is in the color Sand Beige. Oh, you see that? Oh my god. Okay, this lip liner sucks keeps like falling off for some lipstick I'm using a Bianca from Colourpop and I honestly don't really know what this is gonna look like but we're just gonna try it out I actually did like a different type of hairstyle. I don't usually do my hair when I make videos, but I figured that my hair is always down or always in a ponytail, so I just wanted to, to do something a little different. So let me know, do you like this hairstyle? I tried to do one of those like cute messy buns, but it didn't really like end up working. And I have like some stray hairs that I tried to pin back. I'm just gonna pin this back. Well, this is the final look anyway. No, actually, you know what? I want to add some more. I want to add some more blush because I want this to be very, very, very vampy. This is the final look. <laughs> Thank you. 
it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this or videos from me in general, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit your notification button and also give this video a thumbs up because that really helps me a lot. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.